Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Took a couple of days off, uh, back to work right now. So if you sent me an email over the last few days, uh, I haven't gotten to it yet, but I will today or tomorrow. So before I start, Jawbreakers Forever, Iron Sights and Possible Stars. I did a community post uh, earlier today, and it was a it was a head scratcher. You know, like how do I go with this? Do I go snarky? Do I go petty? There's so many options. So, you know, basically, I just put it out there, <laughs> you know, in a uh, way uh, to let you decide how to take it. Uh, but then uh, some friends were talking about this, and a friend basically wrote this entire video and the title and everything. And it's just like, uh, why do people ask you if you like your job? Well, Heather, it's because you're miserable. <laughs> so Heather Antos, uh, uh, celebrating uh, being at the San Diego Comic-Con, Finishing it up, and she just had to add this. She says, quote, I know Star Wars and Star Trek are your job and all, but do you actually like them, unquote? A question I was asked multiple times this weekend. Sigh. This is something she really needed to uh, express to the world at 5.57 a.m. After, you know, spending an entire uh, four-day weekend with, with San Diego's five days, right? Uh, with uh, peers and fans, and it, you would think you would have some amazing stories to tell, or you, you're just like, ah, I thought I loved comics, but I found out there's more room in my heart to love them. There's an extra ventricle I didn't even know about. No, this is what she had to say. So um, I think I'm pretty good at not being a hater all the time. In that, and it's not just me saying it, it's other people say it, that there are people out there who have actively tried to harm me. Who have actively tried to get me to kill myself. And I can be like, the book's good. Yeah, the book's good. The art's good. The story's good. They did a good job. I don't like them. <laughs> but I'm not going to be petty and say something, you know, is bad when it's good just because I don't like the person. That being said, I'm not 100% hater free. When someone you don't like is really happy, it hurts. It hurts a little. It hurts. It's like a little talon piercing, you know, your skin right into your heart. It hurt. Ow, that hurts. I have never felt that feeling in regards to Heather, who's actively tried to harm me. There's never been a time where I was like, gosh, she's so happy. That really hurts my heart. I've, I've, I've literally never seen her happy at all. I've seen her do the fake cutesy pie, Whedon speak, Twitter speak a million billion times. But I've never actually seen her happy at all and when it comes to discussing comics, geek culture, any of it. She is, it's, it's just not her thing. So it's a real simple question, you know, and the simple answer is that you say, no, I don't like it. I, I was kind of casting about in life. You know, the, the Marvel, they wanted to hire women. I'm a woman. I applied. When I, I don't know. I don't know. What, I, what do I do? What do I do? Quit. <laughs> you quit. That's what you do. And I know it's like, well, then the bad guys win. You're miserable every day. You're not good at this and you're broke and you're wasting. Okay, so not to freak out. You're going to get about 75, 80 years. Of which you're going to remember about 70 of them. And this is, you know, this is an average. You can get a little bit longer. You can get a lot shorter. That's seven decades. Okay? So that's 14 half decades. Imagine your life. They're like, here's your life. All 14 chunks of it. And here's one chunk that was you just being miserable. Do you want to add more chunks of that just to... Stick it to that, you know, the bad guys. No, you leave. <laughs> you leave and you do almost anything else. I've, you know, uh, it, it's it's funny. Like uh, <laughs> a couple months ago, I was like, I'm going to start brushing up on my certs. So I'm going to go back into cybersecurity. I'm still going to publish, but I miss working around normal people. Holy shit. Everyone was horrified. They're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're living the dream. Hey, I was a little stressed out. I had a book that was almost two years late. It was stressing me out. Now that I got it out, I'm like, fuck yeah. Comics for life, boy. 
you know, even like a couple weeks ago, I forget what I was, uh, a couple weekends ago, I was stressed out. I was like, the comic book industry is stressing me out. All these people stress me out. I'm so stressed. I need to relax. You know what I did to relax when this comic book industry stressed me out? I read comics. I just sat inside and I went to a pirate site and I read like 12 different comics in a day. One after the other, I had so much fun. I had the best time. Yes, absolutely, comics will stress you out. But um, overall, it was overwhelmingly worth it. You know, I have more than 20 books that I've done in four years. That's an incredible feeling. I've got 20 more I want to do. At least 20 more. And even when I'm stressed out and I need a break... My break is just to read comics, but not really like, does anyone look at Heather and you're like, yeah, you know, on a Saturday, she's just going through the long box. Oh my gosh. I, I love it. No, no, God, no. She's doing whatever. I'm a, <laughs> what's a nice way to say basic bitch? Normie. She's doing whatever normies of her age do, which is probably ordering some Grubhub and watching Netflix. So that That's, that's. Go, go try and get a job at Netflix. Eh, maybe it's not at any streaming service, you know, just whatever. And then, you know, work your way up to Disney Plus, which is where you probably, but I mean, come on, man. Like 14, 14 blocks. You got 14 blocks of your life and you just wasted one of them in something where you're miserable and all you do is make other people miserable. Seek life elsewhere. Anyway. Jawbreakers Forever, Iron Sight's three Impossible Stars 2 combo campaign. Save 10% if you buy them both together, but you don't have to. You can buy them individually. Thanks for watching. Bye.